So over, I would say over the last two seasons, uh, because season two kind of ended with Ryan going off with Butcher, but then Butcher fumbling the raising the child bag and him going over to Homelander's side. We've kind of seen this evolution of Ryan's character in a really, really interesting way where it's kind of like he starts off pristine. And if we're going to go with a color, let's say he's white, right? And he lands perfectly in the square of his his mother's personality where he's he's shy, he's timid. He wants to he wants to basically help people. He essentially is going to end up becoming the Superman archetype. But there's there's the gray that gets thrown in, or I should say the black that gets thrown in, in regards to Homelander, where Homelander slowly starts to mold him and corrupt him in these really, really interesting ways. Where when the guy throws the can at Ryan and Homelander kills him, it's kind of like Ryan's apprehensive at first, but then he kind of gets a thrill from it and a smile on his face. Uh, then later on when they're doing the fake saves, there's a part of him that's kind of disappointed because he wants to essentially be the hero. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be, he doesn't know he wants to be Superman. Superman doesn't exist in this universe, but essentially he wants to be Superman. And Homelander pushes him and he uses his strength and accidentally kills somebody. But you don't really see outward remorse it's kind of like in internal turmoil which is one of the reasons why he goes with butcher and he hears butcher out and then him and homelander end up having that fight but this episode was the first episode where it really felt as though he was starting to enjoy the power that he has over other people but the 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 scene that occurs where he's exerting his power is preceded by a scene where he tells Homelander that he wants to help people. He wants to help people using his gifts to, you know, essentially be a real hero. No fake saves, no corporate saves, nothing along those lines. I want to be able to fly in the sky and save people who are essentially in danger. And Homelander is a little bit incredulous to it, but he, he he's trying to turn a new leaf in regards to his son, where he tells him that, you know, I grew up essentially as a slave and i had to follow all of these rules and i had to listen to everything that people were telling me and i was never able to honestly live my life and find out exactly the type of person that i wanted to be and the type of person that i could have become if i didn't have all of these external factors shackling me down and he doesn't want to put ryan inside of that bubble which is when ryan says that you know he actually wants to be a hero but then when they see an opportunity to basically be a hero, it's not exactly the way in which Superman would handle a situation. It's the corrupted way that Homelander would handle a situation, where instead of admonishing the individual, talking to the individual, trying to have that individual change on some type of moral level, it's directly to force, directly to, to violence. And it's not violence from Ryan's part. He's not using his strength on the individual. He's using his presence to allow someone else who's marginalized to basically uh, degrade someone who was degrading them. It's kind of like that whole eye for an eye type situation. And I don't see, and it's one of the discussions that were essentially happening online in regards to his character, as we see him taking these steps more and more down the road to becoming more like his father is he going to end up becoming like homelander no uh i don't see him becoming like homelander i i honestly believe that every time we hear that he wants to do something that's in regards to essentially how his mother raised him that and especially going back to a conversation that vogelbaum had with homelander back in season two i believe yeah i think it was in season two where he basically tells him that you know i shouldn't have raised you in a lab raising you in the lab turned you into the monster that you are today i should have raised you in a loving home with with parents who loved you so you can understand the world and appreciate the world around you i think that that nurture from his mother is always going to be inside of him. So even though he's kind of showing these tendencies that lean more towards his father, 
I think that the way in which his mother essentially raised him to be a good person is going to end up shining through. And then it's also my personal belief that um, Ryan does not make it out of this series. If he does, that's going to be super interesting because he can go off to become the, 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 essentially he can go off to become the Superman character for this universe. But now that we know that there is not going to be a Homelander clone, like the noir isn't a Homelander clone. We're not going down that road in any way, shape, or form. Now that we know that that is not a thing that is going to happen, I really do think that it is going to end up being a battle between Ryan and his father. And I feel as though Homelander is going to end up killing Ryan. And that's going to be what sends Homelander essentially over the edge. And I feel as though that's where Butcher may end up coming in to finish the job. But we'll end, we'll end up seeing. Like, The Boys does a fantastic job of setting up uh, future storylines. Like, we're seeing the way in which uh, f- future arcs are being set up for uh, A-Train and um, Sister Sage. And even for Firecracker, that may not pay off this season, but may end up paying off next season. At least I'm really, really hoping that A-Train's able to make it through the season, but we'll see. We'll see how that essentially shapes up. But no, I don't think that Ryan's going to end up turning into Homelander. I don't see that happening. I think that Becca Butcher did a really, really good job of raising him to be a decent person. And this is, this is a result of a person who had a sheltered life well this is basically the result of a sheltered introvert who's now being forced into an extrovert mindset and an extrovert space and that causing just absolute fucking chaos kind of like when an Amish person leaves the the farm and goes to live in the city for a little bit and then eventually they realize that holy shit this city is completely corrupting and fucked up and i should probably go home to my family to live like a decent life the way in which i was when i was younger kind of feel as though he's going to have like a come to jesus moment where he's like you know the things that my father's teaching me really aren't for me they don't make me feel good and i really want to honor my mother so i'm going to be a hero to honor her memory but we'll see uh let me know what you guys think whether or not you believe that he's going to be a villain like homelander or he's going to end up being the superman character or if you're on my you're in my mindset and you think that his character does not survive the series comment down below let me know and i will catch you in the next one peace